Man, we got heaven on earth in the building. All of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of them yeah, are in the got. building. <laughs> so what about G, sir? Can you introduce everybody for me, please? Yeah, actually, I'm going to let them introduce themselves. This is Heaven on Earth, a collective of artists, producers, creators who just... Man, it's it's in the name. Heaven yeah, on yeah, Earth. Yeah. That's the mission. That's the mission in the gang. But are y'all going for like a Guinness Book of World Records on on collective? <laughs> like <laughs> something like that. Something That's a like lot. That. We got NK. Uh, my name's not Clyde. I go by NK to B. Uh, yeah, so ooh, I think I'll go yeah, far. Try that okay. <laughs> okay, I gotta get up to it. Yo, what up, Cleso? A Cleso, not a Cleso. It's a Cleso. Uh, and yeah, I'm with the gang. I'm with the gang. I go by A three. <laughs> uh, three five from the east side, three fifty. Go by AC or mixed by AC. It's your boy Garnell Kilowatts. Yeah. Romar. <laughs> <laughs> Enzo Grand producer. Yeah, Young Sauce. Yeah. 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 Hey, Juice bangers. Yes. Oh. Yeah. 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 So we also we also got Kayla Mitchell. He's not here right now. Yeah. Here in spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't make it. Couldn't make it. Yeah. Okay. So what's okay. crazy is that we've actually talked to probably most of y'all individually. Like y'all have either been on this show or y'all rocked with us during the pandemic. So it's good to see everybody, man. Good to have everybody in the studio, man. All right. Top question. How did this happen? This yeah. is this. When I heard about this, I was like, what? What's happening? Talk about yeah. this. How did this come together? Bro, it's been like two years in the works, though. Um, like, it feels like random, but we've been at it for a minute. And all of us are like real life homies. Like, we've known each other for a minute. So when it came to coming together as a collective yeah, and as yeah. a group, it was just like, it was automatic. It was easy. Like, I hit up, uh, I hit up Mikey 350. I call him by his <laughs> name. Uh, yeah. I hit up 350. We got him in, in A3 on and then yeah. hit up a Cleso, hit up the gang and like, bro, it was automatic for everybody. It was like, yo, here's the, here's the vision. Here's what we're trying to do. Yeah. And it was like, all right, let's ride. Let's go. And we locked in. We got a couple. Shoot, how many times did we link up, bro? Three, four. Three, four, three, four times. Yeah. Three, four times. Camps, yeah. like, just wow. camps locked in intentionally, like. Not posting Not it. posting Not talking no, about it. Yeah, not, not, not talking about it. telling our friends that we're yeah. coming. Yeah, that was Yo, crazy. we had to, like, hurt my wife. people, bro. Wow. <laughs> my Is wife it? didn't know where I was for, <laughs> <laughs> for a few weekends, bro. You can't do that. <laughs> isn't isn't this hard, though? It. Like, it's it's so many people. It's so many different personalities. I know the, the like-mindedness of Christ is the center of you all's foundation, so that's good. But isn't it hard to, you know come together and say I want to contribute this or I want to contribute that or you know what I'm saying isn't that hard I would just say no nah, I think we obviously disagree we have disagreements yeah. and we have like conversations but we all respect each other we yeah, all yeah, love yeah, yeah, each yeah. other we rock with each other yeah. so it's just like if somebody don't rock with some, something they just bring it up yeah. it's a conversation it might it might get resolved it might not <laughs> but we talk it through and, yeah. and that's what it is it's all it's all love. You're also talented. And, yeah. and I would say, especially like on the rap side, hook side, and production side. It's like y'all covering all the bases. What was like the vision for this Avengers team? What do you guys see? Like, what is it that you imagine in the future? Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, it's really just heaven on earth. But go ahead. I'm going to let them talk. Maybe I can take this one. Um, <laughs> let, me, let me just say this. Not. I feel like it's really just um, like the vision, the goal overall is really just to to help usher in heaven on earth and yeah. to have that realized, like mm. not just in the space, um, but in the spaces adjacent, like, you know, in any any facet of life that we touch. Because I think the thing that makes us so unique is that we all come from different places. We're from different backgrounds, you know, different upbringings. And it's like, what does heaven on earth look like? What does heaven mm. look like? That's like the vision. That's the main thing. But as far as like, near goals i mean i think it's just to to represent christ and excellence in more than just you know lifestyle but even in art and in creativity and all that wow. stuff wow yeah. wow can i also add can i yeah <laughs> you, you uh, may you may i think one thing also that we talked about early on was um uh, not just being what people expect from us you know mm-hmm. we wanted we wanted to represent something that people didn't expect so like you know, I think on the comments we had a lot of like, yo, Caleb Mitchell's part of this group. Like, I didn't expect that. But it's like we're all representing Christ, whether it looks like it, like to this certain group of people or not. Like, 
that's what heaven is. We're all very different and mm-hmm. we all come from different spaces, but we all have the same mission, you know? Man, I, I resonate with that so much. Just the idea, you know, you guys seen our show where we don't always agree, but the conversation can spark something in somebody's mind and say, that's what it is. Because even though me and Ryan don't always see eye to eye, yeah. that communication helps us unlock something that God may be saying beyond what we grew up with. We could, when we hash it out, it makes it even better. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So I, that's a great vision to have for you guys. All of you guys are so talented. So to see you guys all together, it blew my mind. It blew yeah. my mind, really, really. So, so talk about like, so each of you have been releasing music recently. Have you been saving stuff for this? Like, what, what's are you? What's happening now? Like, just give me a vision of what's coming in the next couple months. AC, AC mixes everybody's music. So. Oh, you can mix it. We've been holding off a lot, a lot of stuff um, that's coming up, and we do have an album on the way. Okay, like yeah. how, how on the way? Pretty soon, sooner than you think. How soon? How like, soon? How, how soon? How soon? Am, I, am I allowed to say? How yeah. soon? Go ahead. This is coming up Friday. Yes, oh. Oh. Six days, six days. Okay, all right. Give me more. What is it called? What, like, what, what are we doing? Yeah. Heaven on Earth, self-titled. Um, and yeah, no, nah, we've been... Our introduction. We've been locked in for a good minute, and... <laughs> It's been, it's not like anybody was sending tracks or anything, yeah. like, yo, bounce on it, hop on this, or I got this idea. It was, like, intentional, like, we all were locked in in the studio, just making music, making the best music we could make. How many songs? <sighs> Do we say it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 10 songs. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a 30, 30, 30, 30 pack is correct. I was afraid to ask. I was afraid to ask because I couldn't, I can't really separate uh, quality Joe from quantity Winston. right now. Like, I know it's quality, but I would imagine that you guys would want to, like, put out a lot of stuff. So, 10? Yeah. Y'all, y'all narrowed it down to 10? No, <laughs> it's we, funny, it's it's funny because originally we were, we were wanting to do, like, 16 or something like that. Yeah, 18. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then we just narrowed it down to the, the solid 10 and yeah. locked in and finished those. All right, so take me into the into the studio with you guys. So, you, I imagine you you all have ideas. <laughs> I gotta hear from you too. I, we, you guys all have ideas. So, how do you guys divvy up? Okay, three of y'all gonna be on this song. All of us gonna be on this one. Like, how, like just explain this process because I'm sure people are like really excited about this. Zo, 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 go ahead and Zo. We talk what like divvying up the yeah. Like how does how does the, how do you plan on who's gonna be on what? I feel like. <laughs> I feel like the different camps have been like just really organic in yeah. terms of making music. Some of the songs started outside of camp, and then we brought them in, and then brought once everybody was together, we kind of just said like, "Oh, we think you go crazy on this." Yeah, just pointing at each artist, and then also like making sure that each artist has a moment on the songs too, not just it sounding like you don't know who's having whose spot is up right now. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. like. Each person really shines on each record, and each producer has like their own sound too. So, it's it was cool. It was a really cool organic yeah. process, and I feel like half the time it was just like having a big jam session like, yeah. with the homies. That's yeah. exciting, man. Yeah. So we finished the days literally having a jam session. Like everything we made, show yeah. Show. During we that show, day, we did oh, show, we show and tell. Yeah. 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 in the morning, we, just if we had like up. different rooms with different people that we just like walk around, and then at the end of the yep. day, we do like a show and tell where we just show everything. That oh, day. that's dope. So where is all this happening? Is this happening in Atlanta? Like where are you guys recording all this? Yeah. Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge. Yeah, we went to Blue Ridge. <laughs> okay. Once out in the mountains, the mountains. Um, in the mountains. Wow. You'll hear Atlanta, us reference yeah. the mountains uh, in the in the album. Yeah. I know I do. I think I've heard yeah. it a few times. Wow. So, so, so on Blue Ridge. Ridge. <laughs> I hear my my own up north in the boonies. <laughs> so okay, I, is, there's a lot to unpack, guys. You have to work with the me on this. The so, did you guys all collectively decide to move from wherever you were staying to Atlanta to do this or you all just meet in Atlanta to do the production do the yeah. recording and, and well, then you bounce most back most of us are actually already here okay so um yeah we were I mean it was easy to okay. just to link up and then whoever was flying in okay so I'm getting a ton of questions stuff. from from the audience okay, all right so number one independent release or is this through a label Independent. Just Independent. Independent. Okay. Just say what you want to say. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Is there going to be a heaven on earth behind the scenes type? Or have you been, have you guys been recording? Oh yeah, all bro. The we got so many videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got too much. All right, I got a question. Is there clear leadership roles amongst the group? Mm. Right. I mean, is this running like a business? 
Is this like when you guys get booked? Like, is there somebody that has the specialization that says, "Okay, I'm dealing with communications. I'm dealing with, uh, you know, yeah. finances." Like, how does that work? Yeah. So That's we nice, we allocated different roles to each person. It's twelve of us. So mm-hmm. it's not like it's not like we, you know, one person got to carry the burden for everybody. So yeah. um, amongst us, there's there's teams and groups for like digital marketing communications. Um, finances, finances uh, Communi- everything, yeah, we are, content, right. yes, yeah. we're all working together because we're all multifaceted yeah. creatives. Yeah. Like we're not just. Yeah. I don't think anybody in the group is linear to where they're just solely making music or solely doing yeah. one thing. Everybody on has a bunch of skills, and yeah, we make the best of all of it. So who else is involved? Because I see you got a cameraman. Let's shout him out. Matt. Big shout out, Matt. 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 I don't know. So who's doing like you know like cover art, videos, all the behind the yeah. scenes stuff? So for the videos, we actually tapped in with Johnny Clay um, yeah. from the Studio, yeah. who is incredible. Yeah. He is yeah the best. Him and Britt um, locked in, and yeah, we executed some of our best videos. I feel yeah. like all of us. We have more coming. Videos. Yeah, we got oh, videos. Yeah. Is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, we tapped in with Johnny Clay, and then um, everything else is all in house, man. Yeah, it's all yeah, the whole team. Yeah. All right, my last question for controversy. Show of hands, who all's married? Oh, what you mean? Okay, all right. Oh. So, and this is trying to son him. No, 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 no. I'm trying to figure out how this is working on household by household. Oh, okay, I got you. How the timing and the the uh, commitment, all of that works out. Because y'all said, like, 350, you said your wife didn't see you for a couple of weekends. I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's on there. Yeah. Um, the, the great thing about it is, is all our girls' wives have been with us since, like, we was rapping in front of five people. Or, like, okay. they've, se- they've seen the journey. Yeah. They've seen the struggle. And, like, one thing about our wives, girlfriends, like, they truly believe in us and they understand like Good. you know the calling we have on our lives like you know what i mean and it it's not necessarily like a monetary thing it's just like they just love and believe in us and also we have structure too it's not like you know we're neglecting our families we're absent you know husbands or fathers like you know we do our best to like communicate yeah you know what i mean and just set boundaries or learning to set even better boundaries yeah you know so mm-hmm. yeah it's it's like, they really, really ride for us. And we really ride for them, too. It's not like, it's just one-sided, like, okay, they just support our goals. Like, we 100% support their goals and what they want to do, too. And, yeah, we, I'm going I'm to leave it at that. Well, I, I want to talk, you brought up something that's interesting. I want to know what it feels like for you guys on this grind of up-and-coming artists to starting to make waves to being household names to, like, what's that journey been like for all y'all? Because we've talked to individ- you guys individually about it. But, like, you guys collectively probably communicate a lot about how it feels to not be known and be known. And then, especially as a Christian in this space, it's a weird business. Mm-hmm. What, is, what, what do you guys see this industry like? Because you guys are a lot younger than us. We'll just admit that. <laughs> what do you feel like? Because we've seen years of this happen. I want to know you guys' experience. Hey, uh, you gotta go up. Cool. I would say uh, it's a process uh, of like waiting and knowing that like God's timing is perfect, you know, because mm-hmm. uh, I'm the youngest artist in the in the group, and I think for me at times I got like very uh, like impatient. I'm like, man, like I look up to all these dudes, and I'm like, dang, like I want to get it popping, you mm-hmm. know. But there would be days that yeah. Kleso, RG, my brother, like they would just sit me down and talk to me like, man, like God's timing is perfect because we're supposed to drop like. Yeah, like a year ago, two oh, years ago. this has ago. been going on yeah, this long? Yeah. Yeah. We're supposed to drop, like, wow. time and time again. But, you know, things happen. God's time, Like I said, God's timing is perfect. So I think uh, knowing that his timing is perfect and knowing that um, his plans are better than, than our plans, you know, for us. So I think yeah. that's how it's been. So. As, as, about, go ahead, go again. I want to hear you. No, no, no. I think the thing about music and that's our careers, the career path we took, is... A lot of it is, it's like 50% the work you put in mm-hmm. and 50% just God's favor. Yeah, like it's, yeah. it's at, at some point you put the music out and it's out of your hands. It's yeah, whatever yeah. people gravitate to, whatever, whoever listens that like might be tapped into something else and it opens a whole new door for you. Yeah. So it's like, I guess it's just trusting that as well where it's like, yeah, like we, we got our own plans, but God 
ultimately yeah. has the last say. So wow. that's good. God, God made a way. Yeah. Made a way. Can, <laughs> can I can I add to that too? Um, when you when you ask how do we feel like being household names and all stuff, like we're really regular. Like you know what I mean? Like 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 if we go somewhere and people like overreact, it's like honestly like weird to us because it's like mm. we're really regular. Like you know like we can have normal conversations. I don't think any of us, none of us think like we're better than the next man you know what i mean like we're not celebrities it's like we just made really good music that people gravitate to but like we truly love jesus so it's not about like moving in a space where we feel like oh man we can't associate or we gotta be like kind of too cool for school it's like yeah. not like we're really regular like regular people like like all of us we go to church like we serve like like we're really regular people Okay. So, so that's interesting to me because, like, for me, Jeremiah and Ryan, what was more important about us doing the show all these years was what we talk about off mic, right? The accountability we have. If I'm struggling with something, Ryan could call me, Jeremiah could call me, whatever. How are you guys interacting as far as accountability, lifting each other up, you know, making sure each other are good? How, explain that part. Go ahead, AC. Talk about it. So, so uh, the handshake. So the handshake. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I feel like um, I feel like even sometimes there'll be moments within us and the group chats or even conversations, and when there's time that we give each other space and kind of like just to understand the moment of like not letting the emotion get build up and things like that, and it feels really healthy to be able to talk to people things like that and within our group and so i think we just kind of set the time to individually go out to each other and talk uh, if there's something in between us or or if there's something going on with one person um we'll reach out to one of us you know what i'm saying um there's a lot of us so it's like even to reach out to everybody and kind of say like oh i'm going through something um sometimes you just have your people within the group and and that's okay but it's it's still more than enough. So okay. it's still, it's great. Yeah. And we set the tone from the jump. Like yeah. before we had any sessions, we, we had Bible study. Like yeah. before we locked in on the music, like um, Kyle was leading us through, through the scripture and, and we still making it a priority because yeah. at the end of the day, like the music is cool, but like mm -hmm. what we have as a unit, like the brotherhood, the, the collective outside of the music, I yeah. feel like that's more important than, you know, anything we can make that yeah. people might celebrate, but like if we're not good, and I mean, it really don't matter. Yeah. So yeah. the unit is everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. That's good. So I want to, I want to hear, um, I want to see if you guys know each other. Who is <laughs> the class clown? Who's the silliest? That's that's that that's man, RJ. unanimous. No, RJ. RJ. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> these guys right here. Yeah, yeah, man, RJ. RJ, Mikey. RJ. It's these three right here. Okay. Okay. All right. Who, who's who's like the voice of reason? Like, come on, guys. You know who's that guy? This guy Kyle. I think it's these two. No, Kyle. No. Nk. Honestly, like, so I'm not the voice of reason, but so I'm at, in my like day to day life. Um, I'm a pastor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a young adult pastor for like the past I think four or five years. I, I think coming up on five years. Um, and so I feel like it's just built within me to like. You know what I mean? Like when it's a certain yeah, the voice thing, of reason, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, don't miss this. No, I think we're all funny. Like we all have our moments. Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all right, who who's the one in the studio that's like, now we gotta do it again. Now we gotta do it again. Now we gotta AC! do it again. AC! All right, all right. Quality control. I like yeah, that. I like control. that. I like who who's the best uh Who's like the spokesperson, marketer? You know, if they in front of the camera, it's gonna blow up. Type oh of this man. Okay. This man was Let's talking go. to the cashier yesterday. Like, yo, do you like Vietnamese. music? <laughs> at a random Vietnamese spot. Yeah. Truck, bro. Yeah. Like, yo, do you like music? You listen to music? <laughs> yeah. Me and my boys got this <laughs> collective. Yeah. He walked up to the, some guy in a truck that was just parked just on the on the parkway. He's like, hey, bro, do you do you listen to music? <laughs> <laughs> do you like do you like hip hop? <laughs> Have you heard of like Christian hip hop? Like, he's really the <laughs> ambassador. <laughs> okay, so I, that was my next one. Who's the most fearless? Well, I guess that's the same question then. Mm, I feel like we all... Yeah, y'all seem all very fearless. Yeah, we're very fearless. I'll say that. I want to talk to the producers. 
what sound are you guys trying to create? Like, because I know you guys want to make a stamp on what's happening now in music. What do you? What do you? What are you trying to craft? What? What do you? Juice, 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 juice. Come on, juice. Do you want to hear from? Yeah, I just want to cook. I'm just trying to cook. I just want to cook, bro. No count. Oh, so for when I first started. I never wanted to be like a just a standard producer. Um, all of my sounds are created based off of how I feel in the moment. So if I'm angry, I'll make something that's really trap trap or hip hop. <laughs> I don't know why it's anger towards that, but it's that. But if I'm feeling sad, I'll make something sad or emotional. And a lot of my sound is emotional and driven and so i'm a strings guy so i like mm-hmm. strings i'm an orchestra i play tuba trombone okay so i incorporate styles like that or similar and sounds like this mm-hmm. so what we have enzo and garnell we worked together on a lot of stuff and it's exactly that that's awesome, <laughs> that's awesome. i think just being invested in oh. i'm gonna let you talk go crazy, go crazy. oh my god is this, not, is this a mic? <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I was going to say, with the sound, we really just wanted to make something that the space hasn't really heard. Um, we wanted to go for something that, I don't know, just sounds like heaven on earth, pretty much. Um, we wanted to challenge each other, keep pushing each other to create something that's different, something that's like edifying. Yeah. Because um, in the space, um, we just see a lot of the same things. Yeah. So it's like, we wanted to create something where it's like, oh, wow, this is catchy. This is dope. But, like, I've never heard this before. Mm. So, like, with the producers and stuff, it wasn't like, it was crazy because, like, we were, we were, like, in the camps and stuff. And I would hear Enzo producing downstairs. I'm like, oh, that's hard. I got to go make something crazy now. Mm. Like, I'll hear Juice going crazy. I'm like, I'm over here eating snacks. I'm like, nah, I got to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I put down the fruit snacks. I had to go crazy. <laughs> so, I mean, all of us, we really, like, challenged each other. And, like, there wasn't a point where it was, like, oh, like, you got, like, eight songs. Like, bro, like, let me, like, nah. It was more like a, yo, you hear anything? Go crazy. Yeah. So that's pretty much. That's awesome, guys. Man, I mean, it's, like, the chat is going crazy. I mean, they're excited. I think that's what you guys created, this this excitement about what's coming next. I'm just just really proud of what you guys are doing. I'm excited for you guys. I'm praying for you guys. Um, If anybody knows me, I'm more concerned with how you guys turn out as far as men, as Christians. So I'm excited that you guys have a, a camp of people that you could turn to. That was really important for us. So I just want any last uh, words to the people watching that are excited about this, who look up to you guys, a young artist, any of that. Like, give, give me some, like, encouragement or some advice for anybody that you, uh, you want to reach out to. Anybody. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell it off with a story. So I was 14. I said this on my Instagram, but I went to go see RG uh, and, and Dill on the Better Late Than Never tour. He was opening, and he said this one thing. He's like, man, like, I was where y'all were in the, in the crowd waiting on to see Lecrae, and now I'm here. You know, so he said, if I could do it, you could do it. So that was very big for me, like 14-year-old, you know, uh, Mexican-American. So, you know, now that I'm here 20 years old with people that I look up to with my brother by my side, like, yeah, yeah, with RG, like, let that be a testament that if I could do it, like, you guys could do it, too, you know, so... Heaven on Earth. Yeah, very good, guys. Well, you guys are going to hear a funny story about our digital on the way. We actually had him in the studio, and he was just sitting in the back. Yeah, yeah. And we were... Like, sitting on the floor, actually. You yeah. were sitting on the floor in the yeah. corner. Right over there. <laughs> and um, super modest, super humble, and it's great to see where you are, man. It's great to see you. Every time we see you, it's just like, yeah, man. reminds us that, you know, that there are people in this space that are getting it right. Yeah, you know? I, yeah that Ryan, absolutely. Um, just seeing your humility, man. You were, like, you were just a ball of talent sitting in the corner, not saying nothing. Yeah. I, I'm sure you knew that, right? <laughs> we didn't know that. But you had so much... I know in your heart that you were planning to do and to see it unfold after all these years, man. I'm proud of you, bro. Yeah. You're killing it, man. You're killing yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so give out socials, tell them how to find support. Yeah. Heaven on earth. It's a uh, Hooli's on earth everywhere. H O O L I E S on earth. 
And yeah, you can digital find out everywhere. now. Digital <laughs> out now. <laughs> and then the album next Friday. Awesome, man. Oh, hey, we're actually pre order now. Oh, yeah. now. Pre order out now. Now, now. Pre order out now. Go get it. Go get that. Go get that. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright to Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. Let's go.